Hi and welcome to the Digital Tiger. We're going to show you today how to sign in to Paper Tiger online and then from there be able to actually link Paper Tiger online to your Google account, what we call Digital Tiger. So the Digital Tiger will actually link with your Google account and allow you to, in one search within Paper Tiger online, be able to use Digital Tiger to find any information in your Google files. That includes your documents, that includes the Google documents or your PDFs. So let's get started and show you how to actually sign into and link Paper Tiger online to Google Docs via Digital Tiger. So signing into Paper Tiger is as normal. If you're using the Digital Tiger, you can just come in and have, you'll see your login screen when you go to the Paper Tiger, the normal sign-in process. So in our case, we've set up an example account and our password. You come in, basically what you'll want to do is connect your Paper Tiger Online account to your Google account. You'll scroll down, click on the account upgrades invoices, scroll down, it's a very simple process, and you'll look for Activate Digital Tiger with Google Docs. Connect your Paper Tiger account to Google Docs. And then what you'll see is it comes up and it says, um, this is the connection to Google. You'll type in, we do not store this, but you'll type in, your Paper Tiger account, or your Google account rather, and then your password. And then, and then what you'll notice is it comes up and it says, we're wanting to connect to your Google account. You grant access there, and you can basically reverse this process at any time. And it comes up and says, Google Documents account link successfully, and then you can hide that. Now, uh, what you'll see is when you go to your dashboard, and by the way, before I move on, activate Digital Tiger with Google. To disconnect, you just come here and it says disconnect your Paper Tiger account from Google Documents. So it's just one more click in the reverse direction to change what you just did. So then you back at the, the main screen, we can then go into select one of our databases and click here. Uh, and then what you'll notice is if I do a search for, let's say, Tiger, uh, and you'll see that we found paper. This is the blue box, meaning we're in Paper Tiger online, but we have not told Digital Tiger or Paper Tiger to look for any digital files. So to do that, we'll go to Database Preferences, click there, and then if you kind of look here, you'll see the first button is activate digital search and what that'll do is actually show you your digital results i.e. from Google Docs when you do a search in uh, Paper Tiger Online. So click there, go to the bottom, update database settings. Now what happens when we go in and you say database, you see at the top it gives you a green reminder database preferences, the database preferences have been updated so you can hide that. Then when you go here you'll search on Tiger again. And when you click search, you'll notice that you see two boxes. One's a blue box, which would be your paper. These are your physical items. Could be paper, could be storage containers, could be anything that you're doing an index using Paper Tiger Online. And then you have a green box. And what you'll notice in the green box, these are your files from Google. Uh, so in one search, uh, you can find both your paper and your digital files, which is, um, which is pretty neat. And from there, I can download the file by clicking on the icon. Uh, I can click on any file digitally and I can be launched into Google and see that file. So for example, this file here, if I click on it, you'll notice it takes me straight to Google and I'm actually looking at the file. I have all the power of Google Docs right there in front of me. So. Um, I won't actually go into that because we've covered that on, on other uh, screencasts, but you have all the power. So when I close that out, I can go right back to Paper Tiger Online Digital Tiger. So, okay, so this right here, um, 
you can basically toggle this so if I want to see just my digital results or there I can see sorry just my paper results or if I want to see just my digital results then I click here and I'm seeing just my digital results so digital search on paper search on I'll see both click there and then I can toggle them back and forth so I can zero in exactly what I want to look at the um, other thing to note is we have, and you'll notice this up here, um, you won't have to interface with this necessarily, but we have tried to make it very easy for you to find anything and everything that you have digitally. And here's how this works. If you have files in Google that have not been converted to Google format, i.e. Excel files, Word files, PowerPoint, etc., then our search will find anything in the title, anything in the you know your title of the file, but it will not see the contents. If you want to search contents, you've got to convert your files to Google Docs format. The same thing is true for PDFs. If you have not OCR or optical character recognition extracted the text from your images, because a PDF is just an image, uh, if you've not OCR'd your files, then we will only see the name of the file, the title. Um, so you you will need to run OCR on the PDFs. This is true for any engine that searches PDFs. So we make it easy for you to do that by clicking on the red box and we'll show you in here which files have not been converted. In other words, we can't see the contents. We can see the titles, i.e. Paper Tiger Document. If you search for that, you'll find this file regardless of the contents, but you won't, we won't be able to see the contents. But what happens is, if you do that, um, you look in the red box, you'll see a collection within Google where we've made it very easy for you to go look at that collection, change the names of the files, if you want to change the, the description, the title, and you can export those files out of Google and then re-import them and have Google convert them to Google Docs. We won't go into a lot of detail of that here, um, but just be aware that if all your files are not converted, we'll make it very easy for you to convert them. Um, so, but the basic idea of what we're trying to show you is the green box shows you all your digital files, and the blue box shows you all of your paper, your index paper. Very, very simple to use, very easy. Search on one box and you'll find anything both in your digital world and your paper world or your physical world if you're using it for storage boxes or any of the other things you can use Paper Tiger for.